Hey everybody, welcome to July 28, 2015, Tuesday, my name is and today i like to announce that apparently it went under my radar, but I knew about the game coming out. Uh, One Shambara Z2 Chaos uh, came out for the PlayStation 4. Now, if you don't already know, this is a franchise I recently have just got into, and it, I guess the newest installment just came out, which I did know about for almost a week and a half now. That was supposed to be coming out very, very soon for the PS4. Funny enough. Because when I bought the game, uh, One Shambara Zombie Slayer, Zombie Bikini Slayer, something like that, yeah, for the Wii, about a month ago, uh, the pawn shop, uh, I guess there was a prequel to it on the 360, and a sequel to it would be coming for the PS4, and apparently it just came out. So, yeah, and the reason I found out, because I went to the GameStop, when I went to go buy uh, Pikmin and Resident Evil Revelations 2, you probably be wondering why I haven't spoke about it since then, well, I've been having some things I wanted to talk about before. So, yeah. And, uh, it's been out, and apparently if you buy it new or pre-ordered at the time, you got a free DLC and a soundtrack. The soundtrack, as I could tell, is still there when I saw it, and I don't really know if I want it because of the game, but I mostly want it because of the soundtrack, weirdly enough, because, well, I'm a sucker for video game soundtracks, and even though I don't really know the game all that great, I have a bunch of video game soundtracks. It's not like, like, the most common ones we all want, like, the Legend of the Majora's Mask, and shit like that, no, uh, even though I have that, um, but no, like, it's not like Sonic Adventure 2 or Kingdom Hearts 2 or anything like that, it's just, I have, like, obscure soundtracks a lot of people probably don't even have, like, The Witch in a Hundred Nights and Mugen Souls and... Uh, what else I have over there? Uh, Ragnarok Odyssey, and who knows what else over there? But still, um, yeah. So One Shambara Z Two Chaos is now out. If you want to try out the game, it's a hack and slash with four main protagonist girls, and it actually has a good, not a good story, but it has a story. I'm not sure if it's a great one or a good one, but uh, it has a story regardless to it. So hopefully it's great, and uh, that's all I can really say about that. But anyways. Other besides that, uh, apparently Halo 5 is not going to have split screen. Now, this kind of shocked me because, well, every single Halo game, even if it was Wars, for speak's sakes, had split screen. And this is going to be the first one that's apparently not going to have split screen. I mean, what? So are they really trying to push it that we're not going to be playing one player or two player plus games at home consoles? Like here at home, at my, by my own house, not somebody else's house? Because I get it, yeah, the whole online at somebody, uh, you know, from I'm in here and then my friend's at his house. But like, what about today is that just me and my friend coming over just to play a video game on the same screen? What about that? Or, or you know two screens at the same place you know like what what's going on with the game industry especially come on halo is a big freaking ip for microsoft and they're doing something like no split screen now that might not be a big thing but for a lot of people that probably is honestly for a lot of people like no a lot of people yes seriously i mean does it really affect me personally yes and no because my i do get my friends over here when they want to play and if for sure, if they want to play a shooter, they can play Call of Duty or Halo. And maybe even Gears of War as a third option. But, realistically, split screen is always an option. And if they want to play online against Halo, people say, yeah, sure, go ahead, play yourself. Or, we'll play together online. But it's still regardlessly split screen. So, what is the point of that? I mean, yeah, I guess you could think that, like, yeah, nobody has friends anymore or something like that. Like, they're not next-door neighbors or some shit like that. Or they're, like, across... Who knows what, but still, I like to have the idea that I can still play with my friend right here in the room with me and the freaking screen and then having a split screen going on on the top to bottom or side to side, whatever, or whatever. Seriously, what, what is the frick is going on with that? I think that's stupid. I'm hoping that's not going to happen to with a lot of games, but realistically, it's going to freaking happen, which is going to piss me off even more, but I seriously think it's stupid. So, uh, yeah, One Shambara Z2 Chaos is out now for the PlayStation 4, and Halo 5 Guardians, no split screen. That's just pretty stupid. But anyways, everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a below, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow to tell you what's going on. And, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just keep you guys up to date what's going on with me, and then, realistically, I'm just kind of pissed off. So, anyways, about that. So, once again, everybody, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay?